Welcome back to Innovation. So the last time we were here, we created our program so we can move our cat around. Our cat goes to the left. Our cat goes to the right by pressing A and D. Our cat goes up, pressing W. Our cat goes down, pressing X. So the next thing we want to do is get our cat to dodge some balls that we're going to drop on it. Sounds like fun. So to make that happen, the first thing we're going to do is create a new sprite. So I'm going to search for a sprite by clicking on the magnifying glass. And I want the ball sprite. Now you could choose a different sprite if you want, but I would like the ball sprite. Then I'm going to take the ball and I'm going to move it to this upper left hand corner as far up as I can get it. Now we're going to add in some events. I'm going to go to when green flag clicked and I don't want the ball to show up right away. So I'm going to go into looks, scroll down and drag the hide block. So now the ball will not show up when I hit the green flag. See, it disappears. Next thing I want to do is make sure the ball always starts at the same spot. So I'm going to go to the motion blocks and drag in the go to X and Y spot. And I'm going to put in the following numbers, negative one, five, four, and one, eight, eight. Let me make this bigger so you can see it nice and big. Okay, so those are the three blocks that we have so far. Next, I want the block, the ball, to make a copy of itself because we want more than one ball to drop on our cat. So I'm going to start with a forever loop because I want this ball to keep appearing and appearing over and over again. So that's from the control block. Then, still in the control block, I'm going to scroll down a little bit and I see these two blocks down here. Actually, there's three of them that we're going to need. The first one is when I start as a clone. The other one is create a clone of myself. And the third one is delete this clone. So the one we're going to start using first is create a clone of myself. And it will make a copy of itself. Then. I have to tell it what to do when it does start as a clone. So I'm going to drag that over and we're going to have it go to a random spot across the top. To do that, we're going to click on the motion block, drag in the go to X and Y. We want the X value to be the value that is going to be random. We want the y value to still be 188. That's the value that we started with. So that way it starts always starts at the top. To do a random number, we're going to go to the green operator space and drag this pick random number block and put it right here where the negative 211 is. Now your number might be different. And we're going to put in a random number. So we're going to go negative 249 to positive 249 because that's the full width of the screen. So our cat will be dodging balls anywhere along the full width of the screen. The next thing we need to do when it starts as a clone is we need to show it so that way it appears. Because remember, we hid all of the balls when we first started, so now we need to show it. Now, after we have shown it, we need to make it disappear because we don't want just the screen to fill up with an infinite number of balls on the screen. So we need to create another sprite. And this is a special sprite. So we're gonna use the paint. And I'm gonna click on the line tool and I wanna draw a line right through the center of the screen. Now, mine's a little bit off, but that's okay. 
and you can see it go all the way across the screen. If it's not quite all the way across the screen, we might have to make it a little bit longer. And you just grab the end and make it a little bit longer. And we could zoom out and that's helpful. So just grab this little circle and make it longer. I'm going to do the same thing over here. Try to get it straight. Mine's a little bit off, but that's okay. Okay, so now I have my line. I want to move the ground, that's what this is going to become, all the way to the bottom of the screen. Like that. So you can see there's a little black line on the bottom. And I'm going to rename it. I'm going to call it the ground. So it's just G-R-O-U-N-D. We've renamed things right down here in the sprite box. And while I'm at it, I'm going to rename my cat to C-A-T, right, instead of sprite 1. So that way it makes a little bit more sense. We got the cat, we got the ball, and we got the ground. So let's go back to our code window. Now, now that we have three sprites, we have to keep track of which code window we're on. If we click on the cat, we get the code for the cat. If we click on the ball, we get the code for the ball. If we click on the ground, we get the code for the ground. So we're going back to the ball. And what we're going to do is put in a forever loop. And inside this forever loop, we want to check to see if the ball is touching the ground yet. So we're going to put in a conditional. But we're going to put in a special conditional. It's right here under control. It's an if conditional else. That means it will do something else if the condition is not true. So here's what we're going to test. We're going to go to the sensing blocks, which is this bluish section here. And we're going to test to see if it's touching the ground. So if the ball is touching the ground, we want it to delete itself. But I want to make it a little bit cooler. I want a sound. So I'm going to have it play. Um, let's see. How about a, a boing? That sounds good. So if it's touching the ground, we're going to make it boing. And then we're going to delete it. So we go back to control. And down here at the bottom, we see delete this clone. So now it will delete itself. Now, if it's not touching the ground, it should start moving down the screen. So the else condition is going to be a motion. Else. Remember the Y direction is what we want to change to make it move down. So we're going to use the block change Y by. And we want it to move down, so we're going to make this a negative number. And that will make it move down the screen. So we're going to change Y by negative 10. If you want it to move faster or slower, you can change this number. And we'll take a look at that in a second. So let's take a look and see what we have. Oh my gosh, lots of balls dropping down the screen. And you can see how they disappear. Now... So that's it for the first stage. So now the next thing we're going to do is add a bit of a game element to it. We want to make it so when the ball touches the cat, that the ball deletes and makes a popping sound. So let's add that in. We're going to go back to control and use another condition. And we don't need a complicated condition. We're going to use a simple condition. And we want to put that in right up here. Sometimes it's tough to squeeze it in. So sometimes it's helpful if we move the other stuff out of the way. So let's make this a little bit smaller. Move this out of the way. Like that. Put our condition in. So now it's linked. And then put it back inside the loop. So it should look like that. Next step is we're going to go back to the sensing and see if it is touching the cat. So drag that over. Let's check if it's touching the cat. If it's touching the cat, then we should delete it and make a popping sound. So let's go to sounds, play sound, pop. 
Now if you want to put your own different sounds, you can explore and change different sounds instead of the popping sound. And now we're going to go to Control again and delete the clone. So now when it hits the cat, it's going to pop and delete. When it hits the ground, it's going to boing and delete. So let's see if this worked. Oh, there's a lot of them. Why is there so many? Well, that's because this is happening really fast. We probably want to slow the whole thing down a lot. So we're going to go into our control and add in a weight. This will slow it down. So the bigger this number, the slower it will go. So let's do three seconds. Every three seconds, a new ball will appear. Now we have a game because we can move our cat to try to catch the balls. Oh, missed it. Missed it. I'm not very good. Oh, got one. And that is our game. That's all there is for today. Bye for now.